Hello, clan people. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate that. Today, we're going to talk about crotons. Crotons are a beautiful houseplant. They can add color to our houseplant collection, of which I am a fan of colorful plants, so I love the look of a croton. I also love uh, just the colors that it has in it. It has the red and orange and yellow, along with the green. Gorgeous, the contrast. But crotons can be a little bit difficult to grow here in Ohio because it's cloudy and cold. And crotons love heat and sun. And unfortunately, we're not in sunny California or marvelous Mexico. So we have to grow our crotons a little differently. First of all, these crotons, what I've found anyway, is that it's best if they're in a south or a west facing window. And they need to be right in the window, they need to see that sun, and you will get the most beautiful colors. Otherwise, your croton will lose leaves, or you end up with a croton with just green on it. It'll lose all this fabulous color, which I know we're going for, most of us, anyway. So that's the most important thing about crotons, because they love the sun. They do not like to be repotted. If they're repotted and disturbed too much, they will also lose leaves. But don't worry, they'll grow back. They'll grow back. Now, as far as watering goes, crotons are pretty simple. Just like any other plant, you let them dry out and then you water them. You don't let them get too, too dry. And you don't overwater them. That's pretty much the secret to any plant though, right? Now, propagating crotons, I've found a very successful way to do so. First of all, I like to propagate in the time of year when plants grow in Ohio. And that would be like May through September. The colder months, plants do tend to uh, go a little bit dormant, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging. But unless you have a greenhouse or special circumstances, my house gets pretty cold in the wintertime, so it's best for me to propagate when there's heat and sun. And I like to propagate in peat moss. I take a clip of the end, maybe about an inch and a half down, where it's still green on the stem. You don't want the bark part. And then you remove all the leaves except two. You leave the top two leaves. You dip it in rooting hormone. And then you take those two leaves and you clip the leaves like this. You just clip off the leaves. That way that plant puts its energy into growing roots. Now within a short period of time, maybe a month, month and a half. Now this is with no greenhouse, no heating pad, just in the, sun, in the sunny window. In a month or month and a half, you're going to see, you're going to look in your container, your glass or your clear container, and you're going to be able to see some roots. And that's exciting for us plant owners, especially when we propagate our plants. And after you see roots, then you're going to notice some green on the very, very tip. And you'll find 
it'll start growing leaves. Once it starts growing leaves, you know you have a new plant. Now, some signs that your plant is not doing well. If these leaves, these original leaves, start drying up, falling off, you know that that plant is unsuccessful. Or, or maybe it will be successful, but you'll have to wait for a long time. Now you have to keep this, this peat moss pretty moist. If you can see, this is getting a little bit dry on the top there, which is okay now that it's a plant. But when it's growing, you, you want it to be a little bit moist, not too moist. There's a balance, but you do want it to be moist to give time for those roots to kind of sink down and grow. So I've given away quite a few babies off of this one small plant. And wherever I clip her, let me see if I can find a spot here. Ooh, here's one. You can see I clipped off the end. And then from that end, another shoot came out and started growing leaves. So it'll just keep growing. Now I've done this maybe three or four times now. And I love this plant. I just think it's gorgeous. So I hope this is helpful to you. And I hope you also get a beautiful croton and some babies that you can give away to your friends. Anyway, just remember, it's a jungle out there. And thank you for watching. Bye, plant people.